Welcome to my channel. The other time I uploaded to my channel my position on the zoning of 2023 presidential ticket of the All Progressive Congress, where I espouse reasons why the presidential ticket of APC should go to Southeast. I did explain that for fairness, equity, and justice, for which the South, Southern politicians and Southern leaders insisted that the 2023 presidents should go to South, should be applied in deciding which part of the South should produce the president. In the South, we have three zones, South, South, Southeast, and Southwest. South, South, and Southeast, and Southwest. South, South has had a shot at the presidency under good old Jonathan, who spent five years as president of the country, and then eight years under President Lusheruno Basanjo from Southwest. And right now, somebody from the Southwest, Professor Yemiu Sivanjo, is the vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, that brings me to the question of what about the PDP? Where are they going to zone their what are they supposed to zone their own? Yes. In the first video I did, I said it should go to Southeast. Now I'm also saying it again that the PDP should zone its presidential ticket to the Southeast for almost the same reason that I gave for APC to zone their tickets to the Southeast. The Southeast has never produced a president since 1999. This is a very good opportunity for the zone to produce a president. Now, why did I but I believe that that would be the right thing to do. Because Southeast, like I said, under the APC, Southeast PDP has all it takes to produce a presidential candidate. All they need is support. And if we are to go by justice, fairness, and equity, for which the Southern politicians and Southern leaders insisted that 2023 presidency should come to the South, then it is obvious that it is the Southeast that is more, most eligible under principle of equity, justice, and fairness, even based on federal character principle, as enshrined in the Constitution of Nigeria, Southeast ought to be given the opportunity. They should be given a right of first refusal to produce the president of Nigeria in 2023. Now, let me explain why. First, Southeast has been very loyal to PDP. Southeast since 1999 has been voting for PDP. When everybody abandoned PDP in 1999, in 2015, sorry, after the PDP was defeated, Southeast and South South were the only zones that were out for PDP. They were the reason why there is still PDP. There are people who came from the North right now, people like uh, former Vice President Elijah Atikula Bakken, former Speaker of the House of uh, Representatives and now Governor of Secretary of State, Amiru Tambour. The, they all left the party. They abandoned the party. Now they have returned. At least I forget, the, the former Senate President, Bukola Saraki. They all dumped the party. They all were moved to APC. 
if there were no people in PDP to sustain it, PDP would have been dead right now. So it is Southeast and South South that sustain the party. They cannot, therefore, reward their loyalty by abandoning them when it is the turn of the Southeast to produce the president and uh, claim that the, 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 the position should be thrown open. That's not right. The position need to be emphatically zoned to the Southeast. Yes, it should be zoned to the Southeast because Southeast has never produced a president since 1999. Southeast has been loyal to PDP. Southeast has some of the most militant supporters of PDP. Without them, there will be no PDP today. Yes, because PDP was decimated by the APC after the 2015 election. Even after the 2019 election, in which Atiku was the presidential candidate, Atiku disappeared immediately after he lost the election. He went to Dubai. He wasn't bothered about the future of PDP. But there were people in PDP, mostly from South South and Southeast, who stood their ground and keep on pursuing PDP agenda, PDP programs to ensure that the party does not die. So they that being the case, it will be unfair to reward PDP for its loyalty by denying, to reward the Southeast for its loyalty to PDP by abandoning the zone and, and handing it over to the North or any other zone. So that alone stood or stands the South is in a poor position to be considered for the presidential ticket of, of the PDP. That said, PDP also know, should know that it has a principle of zoning in its constitution. In 2019, it was zoned to the north. That was why we didn't see any southern politician but, uh, buying uh, the, the, the nomination for, for president. It was all not an affair. Now that it ought to be zoned to the southeast, they are talking about throwing it open. It is not fair to the, to, to the broad southeast. It is not fair to the lawyer supporters of PDP in Southeast. That is why my position, in line with the principle of fairness, justice, and equity, the PDP presidential ticket should go to the Southeast. That is the only way PDP can even survive as a party going forward. Because God help PDP. If APC wins 2023 election, you may look for PDP in this country in the next five years. You won't see it. It will be unrecognizable. It will be like AD. You know the other parties that have fallen by the wayside. The reason why PDP is still existing today is because of South, South, and Southeast. So these two zones need to be appreciated for what they have done. And since South South has already produced a president in the person of uh, Dr. Gulo Jonathan, it will be unwise. It will be against the principle of uh, justice, principle of fairness and equity and common sense to now hand over the ticket to the South South. No. And when South South was in a poor position, when Jonathan was there, Jonathan's most militant supporters were from the Southeast. So I don't think that there's a problem in South South allowing Southeast to take the shot. 
So PDP need to do the right thing and the most needful, which is giving his ticket, presidential ticket, to the Southeast. And uh, when it comes to Southeast, there are a lot of eligible, eminently qualified Southeast politicians that could make president of Nigeria. You talk about people like uh, the former governor of uh, Panambra State, Mr. Pitobi. He's eminently qualified to be president of Nigeria. This a man who left indelible footprints in Anambra State. This is a man who is a man of integrity. This is a man who left money in the treasury of Anambra State. This is a man who saved money for Anambra State. This is a man who has a firm grasp of what needs to be done at the tips of his fingers to move this country forward. So they could look at him, PDP could look at him, I had the ticket. That guarding ticket to P2B would be good, not only for PDP, it would be good for Nigeria because he will leave Nigeria better than he met it. I have no doubt in my mind that that would be the case. Aside P2B, there is also former secretary to the federal government of Nigeria, an empire signing. An empire signing is eligible, is eminently qualified to be president of this country. They have been senior president. They have been secretary to the federal government of Nigeria. And in, in all these positions that he had held, he showed that he has the capacity to deliver on assigned responsibilities. And if he's the one that Nigeria has chose to be the president of the country, or the one that the PDP chose to be their candidate, he will not disappoint the country. He will perform excellently well. So it is important that PDP think carefully before they are being hoodwinked into abandoning zoning and now throwing their presidential tickets open. Throwing the presidential ticket of PDP open will be the worst thing to happen to PDP. Why are they throwing, why are, why are they suggesting throwing it open? So that some money bags from other sections of the country can hijack it and pick the ticket. And even these people are angling to take the ticket, especially from the north, didn't do any much difference when they were at the center. Atiku Abakal's uh, vice presidency was very inglorious, riddled with corruption. We know what, what are the allegations he passed through. Anybody who doubts about the, 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 the need to avoid Atiku like a plague should go and read Obasanjo's book. They should go and read Obasanjo's memoirs. And they contain a lot. And former first president Atiku Abaka. Yes. If you look at someone like Tambo, we know how he emerged as the Speaker of the House of Representatives. We know that he's not trustworthy in terms of party loyalty. At the slightest opportunity, he dumped the party and moved on.
So PDP has to be very careful. Look at someone like Bola, uh, Bukola Saraki. He dumped the party in 2015 and moved to ABC. And to show that he's a, a, somebody who is much concerned about his own personal ambition and personal interest, he went against the ABC, the new party he went to. He went against the party. and maneuver his way to become the senior president. And look at how it ended. He returned back to the PD because the APC was no longer comfortable for him because he disobeyed the party. He imposed himself as, as a senior president. And when he couldn't get back, he couldn't, he, he, he couldn't get move forward in APC, he returned back with his tails between his legs. He returned to the PDP. Now he wants to be the presidential candidate of, AP, of PDP. He is the one now leading the so-called consensus. What are they talking about consensus? The only consensus that PDP should be talking about is PDP consensus, uh, presidential Southeast presidential candidate consensus. Perhaps calling the, uh, the, the, the Southeast presidential aspirants like Mr. Pitobi, like uh, the Obama, Mr. Obama, calling an empire signing, and all others who purchase form forms to be president in 2023 so that there could be a consensus among them so that all of them will choose from among themselves who should take the position and then the rest will step down and as as as, as a shrine in the new electoral act they will give written endorsement of acceptance of the consensus. That is the only way to go. That is the that is the truth. That is the way to go. Any other consensus in PDP presidential ticket is a non-starter. Because while Saraki is moving from state to state, lobbying for consensus, he is putting himself inside the consensus. He is putting Tambo inside the consensus. He is putting a uh, governor of uh, Bauchi State into the consensus. It ought not to be so. The consensus that if PDP want to go through the the, the success, uh, consensus route, it, it ought to be squarely left for some his presidential aspirants. That is the way to go. If really PDP want to survive after 2023 election, if PDP is really interested in justice, fairness, and equity in Nigeria, PDP ought to give its presidential ticket to, to the Southeast. And I tell you why this is important. If it were to happen so, if PDP followed that same route, and the ABC followed the same route of giving their presidential ticket to the Southeast. They would have helped to solve a major teaching problem facing Nigeria. That is the reintegration of the Southeast into the mainstream of Nigerian politics, Nigerian socioeconomic life. It means head or tail in 2023 election, somebody from the Southeast is going to be the president of Nigeria. It can be done. It has been done. Be, it, it has been done before. Remember, in 1999, in 1999, it was done when the major political, two major political parties at the time, the People's Democratic Party and the uh, AIPP, 
chose their presidential candidates from the Southwest. Chief Olusegun Obasanjo was the presidential candidate of the PDP. Chief Olufalaye was the APP presidential candidate. Yes. And why was this so? It is because following the annulment of June 12, 1993 presidential election, in which a Yoruba man, Chief M.K. Oabiola, was poised to win, there was a need to reintegrate the Southwest into the mainstream of Nigerian politics. That was why it was done. And it is good that it is done, that we do it again. Yes, it is good that we do it again. Now, the importance of zoning and rotation of presidency and other offices is because Nigeria is a multi-ethnic and multi-religious country. That is why we have the federal character principle. Even in all the states, right now as I'm talking to you, the governor of Niger State, Governor Bello, could not have been governor of Niger State if not for zoning in Niger. Dr. Okezi Ipaz, who is the governor of Abia State right now, could not have been governor of Abia State today if not for Zuni. There is virtually no governor in Nigeria today who is standing in a position that is not because of Zuni. There are some pockets of states where there is no Zuni. But those states ought to have Zuni. A state like Benue State ought to have Zuni because the thief part of Benue have been dominating the governance of that state. So that, that's part of a few examples you can say that here there's no, this particular state, there's no zoning per se. So zoning has come to stay in Nigeria. So let PDP not be deceived that he can get the presidency of Nigeria without zoning. It will lose. And if it loses in 2023, PDP will be dead. Save this video. I said it. If PDP did not zone its presidential ticket to Southeast and PDP loses in 2023, the party will be dead and buried. Save this video. It will be a reminder. That I said it. PDP will be looked for like early and it will be nowhere to be found. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, I want you to hit the subscription button so that whenever we put anything out, you will be among the first to know. God bless you. Till next time.